Close your eyes for a second. Try to imagine the most darkest, murderous, corrupt place on the planet. Times that by a hundred, and you got where I'm from. It's hard making a living in this town. All right, guys, what is up? And today I am bringing you a Moab gameplay. This right here is my 100th Moab, and oh, that might not be a lot compared to some people, or even some of my subscribers might have over 100 Moabs. I really wouldn't doubt it. But I didn't really run specialist for. I'd say until about a month ago. I never used specialist. I'd always use support and maps that weren't or not support. I'd always use assault and sometimes the odd time support. I never used specialist. I really didn't like it at all. Not until recently I noticed that it's almost just as good as assault and on some maps it's better. So I've gotten quite a few Moabs in the past month, about half of what uh it took me, you know, pretty much six months to get just as many mobs as I did in the past one so uh, yeah um, during Modern Warfare 2 I made a video um, that was really big it was important to me because I remember I uh, I couldn't get a nuke for the longest time in Modern Warfare 2 and I broke a lot of things in Modern Warfare 2 because I was getting angry because I couldn't get the nuke and I'd die on streaks and then I finally got the nuke, and then I made a video saying that I got my 100th nuke. And yes, I do keep count of my nukes and Moab count. Uh, why? I don't know. Just because, um, I don't know. It might be kind of weird. Some of you guys might be like, what the hell? Who keeps count? I do. I don't know. Just for fun. Just for something to do. But this right here is a pretty big thing to me. I never really found Moabs entirely that difficult to get. They sound a lot more difficult than what they are. Um, I remember pe when this game first came out, I was like, yeah, people aren't going to get Moabs very often at all. And then I thought, um, you know, if you ever get a Moab, it's got to be against an extremely bad team that has no skill at all. But I've dropped Moabs against famous YouTubers, and I've dropped Moabs against full parties before of, you know, kids with two KDs. And, you know, I think it's a Moab is, you know, it's a mix between luck and skill at the same time. But, um, yeah, this is my 100th Moab. Uh, I didn't really do anything special for it. Uh, I, I could have, I guess I could have uh, got, um, you know, and done something crazy like a shotgun Moab or like a PM9 Moab, but I didn't really think about it at the time, and this is my exactly 100th Moab. Um, definitely, yeah, definitely uh, not a very interesting gun for my 100th. If I look back at it now, I probably could have gone for like a sniper Moab or try and got one with a spas because I want to try and get a spas Moab. Uh, I've been close multiple times, but uh, yeah. Although I would say this Moab is a little more entertaining than some of my Moabs because I actually run around a decent amount in this game. And um, yeah, these kids that we were playing, they weren't even the worst. Um, they might not look the best because I'm, you know, I'm on a Moab streak, but they actually had some decent stats, some of them. So uh, yeah. And uh, something about that I noticed on the PlayStation is that uh, you don't run into as many full parties as you do on Xbox. So that's kind of uh, one thing that makes the game a bit easier. I wouldn't say PlayStation's any easier than Xbox. And watch right here what happens. I get extremely lucky that I don't die. Uh, so I run right by a shotgun guy. I didn't even see him. But I managed to turn on him because I have the ballistic vest. Those things save lives. I would not imagine how good of a player I could be. Not saying I would be, but could be. And how much higher my stats would be if I had people running support for me 24-7 and I was the only one in the spawns, like those ground war guys like Exquisite XBL and Jay Nasty. I'm not saying that they're bad players, but, I, you know, I have just as high stats as them and uh, I don't have support runners and I don't, you know, I'm the only one that's in the spawn. So uh, I think I'd be a lot better of a player, definitely, if I had support runners. I think it'd be cool to have, but... All at the same time, I would never do it just because, you know, it kind of takes away a bit of fun of the game. And I think I actually picked my Moab up here in the next couple kills. Um, it's inter interesting how I actually get the Moab. Um, I sit here for a second because I think I was trying to fix a wire. I'm not just camping in a corner because, you know, there'd be no need to camp here. There's nothing here. I think I was actually trying to fix my headset wire or something like that. But uh, when I get my Moab, I run into like three or four people. And I think it's right around here. Um, yeah, you can, that's why I'm sitting here just doing nothing because I was fixing my headset wire. Um, right here, yeah, I run into three people. I'm like, oh my god, they all see me too, and they're all shooting at me. I pick up all three of them, luckily. But it's kind of funny how I also die on the end of my streak here. I think I pick up this last guy, and then I get killed by uh, a classic, you know, class act uh, beast. 
Uh, you guys are going to see it in a minute, the way I die. I talked about this in one of my videos not too long ago, about these people that do this, and they're just assholes, if you ask me. Um, I think it's coming up right around here. Yeah, this guy. Sitting in the back of a spawn, sniping. What a beast. But anyways, guys, this is the end of the gameplay. Unfortunately, it gets cut off because Theater didn't record it all. Hope you guys enjoyed my 100th Moab. Leave a rating. Peace.